So today's a nice early spring, 60 degree day. I'm at the, where I used to find those brown snakes. And I'm gonna see if I can find any today. And there's a little brown snake. Cool. First one of the day. Let's get this guy out. Oh, he's so tiny. But cool. I don't see any more. <clears throat> Alright, nice. Steraria DKI. DK's brown snake. Let me take some photos and then put this guy back. Cool. First one of 2023. So yeah, cute little guy. I would assume this is like a yearling, probably born last year. Really cute. Gonna go ahead and put this guy back now. Nice first brown of the day. Let's see if we can get any more. Shut this board. Oh, there's a garter. That guy. He pooped on me. Really pretty though. Nice vibrant yellows on this garter. Really pretty juvenile. Probably like another yearling. I'm gonna take some photos of this garter and then put him back under this board. But nice little juvenile garter. Alright. There's nothing under there so. I'm gonna go ahead and let this garter go back under that where we found him in. All right, that seems to almost be about it. There's a couple more boards, but pretty low in numbers today, which I'm surpri I'm surprised because usually here I can get tons of decays brown snakes and like other bycatch, like worm snakes, ground skinks, obviously garters. But yeah, I mean, if I see anything, I'll let you guys know, but looks like it's going to be about it. Also, under these boards is really moist because of the rain and snow we got recently. So, here's some prickly pear cactus. I'm pretty sure these are the only cactus species in New Jersey. And they have a, an edible fruit that you can eat. So, cool. Alright, well that was nice to see the first brown snake of the year. And to see that little garter was nice. But, yeah, spring's basically here now. It'll be officially here on the 20th. Right now it's the 16th, but... Yeah. Low quantity, but... You know. Glad to see that decays brown snake and that little garter snake. It's always good to see your first species of the year so yeah yeah so like I said before it's a nice early spring 60 60 degree day and it's overcast so it's good usually for reptiles and I was looking along the shore of this pond hoping I'd see a turtle and there's a little juvenile red eared slider really pretty dude I just saw two jump in the water from basking on a log that I disturbed. Once I came close, they jumped in the water, but what a nice little surprise. I was hoping I'd see a reptile along this bank, whether that was a water snake or a turtle. But nice. Even though they're non-native, still a pretty turtle. And good to see reptiles moving today. Take some photos and then let this guy be. Cool. Alright, just got some photos of this turtle. Gonna let them be now. Cool. So I just peeked in this little vernal right here and saw some movement. And then I saw a few frogs dive under the water, under those leaves. And I wound up getting my hands on this guy. Look at this wood frog. Really pretty red individual. So I'm gonna get some photos of this guy 
and then put them back in that vernal. But really cool. And you can definitely hear all those peepers behind me. So after this, I'm gonna go check out those vernals and see if we can get any peeper action. But awesome first frog of the night. Nice bright red wood frog. Cool. All right, just took some photos of this really cool looking wood frog. Let me give you guys another look at him. Nice red. Really cool looking. Still dark, but yeah. Nice first wood frog of the night. Let me get this guy back into his vernal. Not sure if it's a male or a female, but hope it has a good breeding season. See you later, dude. Really cool. Well, my battery's about to die. But here's another wood frog and another vernal. Really bright red. Brighter than the last one. Overall, a nice night. You hear tons of peepers calling, but none on film yet. If I still have enough battery, I'll try to film some of that. But nice wood frog. Gonna put my flashlight in my mouth and then put this guy back. See you later, buddy. Cool. So, no peepers tonight. I could hear a ton around me, but none, none that I could see. So, I might come out later and shine on the roads, but if not, I'll see you the next time I come out. So, it is just after midnight, 12.30. And uh, I'm back out. It just rained a little bit. It's still raining. So I'm going to go out and see if there's any frogs moving. And uh, I'll let you know if I see any. And saw a few tadpoles, but no peepers yet. But look at that fishing spider. I'm going to zoom in for you in a second. These guys will prey upon fish and tadpoles, but and they can also swim and run on the water. So you can see this guy's kind of, I mean, he's on a leaf, but they can run across the water. Pretty cool. First peeper of the night is a really bright orange one. I gotta get this guy out of the road quick because there's a car coming. Nice. First pickerel frog of the year. Really nice looking one too. Let me get a quick photo while there's no cars coming and then get this guy on the other side of the road. Stand the road. And just as I was about to turn around and call it a night, probably gonna be the last spring peeper of the night but really pretty all right see you later buddy all right so I think I'm gonna make my way back to the house it was a pretty good night good start to early spring if I see anything I'll let you know but if not I'll see you next time I get out. It also seems that my flashlight is starting to die. Not only that, it's starting to rain a little harder. It's going to be a lot harder to film if there's my phone soaking wet. So definitely going to call it a night here. Just got this two line under that same log at the same seep that I found one under last time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this guy get back to whatever they were doing. 